So, welcome. I'm going to play the all new Family Feud on Commodore 64. So, this video is part of a week of Commodore 64 game show game posts. I started with the original Family Feud, which released in 1987 from Share Data, and this is the sequel that came out in 1989. And this one is different, you know, of course it's based on Family Feud, so it plays the same, but there are a few things that have been changed. The biggest is the graphics. Now, you can actually name every member of the family, but you cannot select what they look like. The original had a few different selections. I'm going to skip naming them. So... Aside from the graphics, the main thing, because of the graphics, is there's a lot of loading. You're going to hear the disk drive grinding. You're going to hear me typing as well, but I'll let you experience some of the loading, but only in the beginning. I'll, I'll edit the rest out. Then you won't have to hear the disk drive either. It's unfortunate, because that really makes playing this less fun than playing the first one. I don't mind the loading in the beginning of the game, or maybe mid-game or end of game to load a bonus round, but there's a lot of loading in this game. So it has to load the face-off, and it's got to load the family. Now I'm not timing this, but I've timed some loads as long as 40 seconds. And it all adds up. I mean, you then if you don't sweep the category, you have to load the other family attempting to steal. Of course, it depends how fast you play, how long the game will be, but I think you can expect like a third of the time to be loading. Just time spent watching loading screens, just these blue screens. <laughs> That's really too much. And the graphics probably don't even look like that much, but it's a huge improvement over the first. The facial expressions are great. Of course, I'm at a loss again. <laughs> Just take nothing. Sometimes they have stupid answers like that. I'm not going to take a radio because you'll get electrocuted, but I think you want music, maybe. Yeah, I, I know. I, I don't know. <laughs> it's obviously stupid, too. I don't know. See if the computer will steal it, I guess. gonna skip I don't know I can we'll load the other the other team and after this I'll just edit out the rest of the loading screens just limit to limit them to like a couple seconds if you're new to the channel I just start watching this week because of the game show videos when I post them before I did the week of game shows I did have others Classic Concentration and Double Dare for Commodore 64.
Yeah, that load screen looks a little odd because they do stick an S at the end of the family name, which doesn't really work with the odd name I give my family, the channel name. I need the word use, use mouthwash. Sometimes they, they get a little picky on a lot of these, well, a few of these game show games, Jeopardy in particular, was it being annoying in one game? So in another game of this, they put running for something and they want it track. I can't think of anything else, let me try. I guess this is a dentist. Probably would might might be something good. Nope. This one seems hard too. Yeah, I can get the number ones, but everything else is tough. Well, if we get all these, we might make the bonus round. Yeah, that'll put me over 300. Drug use counts as a bad habit. Yeah. There you go. I'm in the middle of a load screen here. I have to flip the disc. I believe I'm going to have to flip it back again. As far as video is relatively short compared to my first attempt playing this game, which lasted over. These 10 more minutes and this one's running. Yep, I flip it again. Alright, took a while to load, but I, I cut that down too. So here we go, bonus round. Yeah, uh, that's hard. In 1989? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that stock one. Who knows? Type the number one. Number one again. Oh, IBM was number one. That, that extra ringing. Number one again. You get all the number one answers. <laughs> Got all the number one answers. And I took it. I don't even have to play it again. <laughs> That's insane. Five number one answers. You didn't even get to hear what it's like not to get a number one answer. I think it's just one ding, like ding. But when it goes ding, 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 yeah, it means I got the number one answer. That's impressive, right? <laughs> Seems that way. And the stock was just kind of like, yeah, IBM was a big deal back then. So I thought, maybe. Yes, here's the high score list. The reason it didn't save the high score I had last time I was about 1541. Unless it overwrites if you use the same name and aren't a returning champ, maybe. These other names are pretty silly. Thunderhead, 7 visits, that must be me. 
and probably because at the time my favorite game was likely Golden Axe on the Genesis. Thunderhead's the last name of one of the characters. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to end it here. Thanks for watching.